this is an A shirt. Maybe a Tyab airfield for the air show and uh, get some great shots. Here's my Tamron 18 to 300 on my XH1. Using the Tamron because it's got such a great range. Using my XH1 because it's the only camera I got with Ibis. G'day. Heaps of images come up. Heaps. All taken with the Tamron 18 to 300 and uh, using the Fujifilm. Now as I said in my first review of the Tamron Super Zoom, it's not a magic bullet. It is just a great zoom with a huge range, 18 to 300. It's a really good workhorse. Now Fujifilm don't have an equivalent, so Tamron's the, about the only one in the game at the moment if you're using Fuji. Yeah, I found, okay, it wasn't perfect. There are a lot of shots where the focus was too slow. Um, I'm putting that mostly on the X-H1. I think with the X-H2S or whatever, or the X-T5, you wouldn't have uh, anywhere there the amount of misses that I got with the older technology. However, I got uh, more than enough <laughs> really good ones to satisfy me. I haven't put them all in this video, but I've certainly saturated the video with photos. So if you're into planes, you'll love it. If you're not, you'll be bored and get out before the end. So good on you, all the people who organised the Thai air show for this year. Uh, well done, the weather was stinking hot. It kept uh, a lot of people away. I ended up not lasting the distance. I left before the end, just because I was sick of standing in the heat waving a, a camera around. But that's not the organisers fault. They laid on free water everywhere, kept uh, reminding people to uh, hydrate, wear a hat, all that sort of stuff. Perfectly sensible uh, advice.
So there you go, heaps and heaps of images. If you got this far, congratulations, you must be an air airplane tragic. The uh, the Tamron did its job pretty well. So, whatever camera you got, pick it up, take it for a walk, and have some fun. Bye.